Weaponier here and I'm going to do a, a quick talk on tripods and this right here is your normal cheap 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 tripod. These are you know 10 to 20 dollar tripods and you get what you pay for. These are <laughs> a little bit better than using a table to go ahead and prop your camera up on. Um, they're very weak. They're not stable. My cameras actually float as they warm up. They'll expand and contract and, and the whole camera will shift a little bit and you'll see it on video a lot of times. They're hard to go ahead and get them level. Uh, you probably notice the camera right now is probably not perfectly level. They're almost impossible to go ahead and get these things to stay in the right orientation. And this was tightened down. <laughs> so it's just garbage. They'll hold the camera and if you need to do anything and just set your camera there and that's as far as it's ever going to go, this will work, but I don't recommend it. The biggest problem with these is panning. When you try to go ahead and pan with these, they stick. They be, you see it sticks a little bit. And it doesn't take much of a stickiness. You know, it just kind of goes eh, 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 eh. That kind of stickiness really shows up on video. So when you try to go ahead and pan this back and forth, that's going to show up. And you can't oil those. You can't do anything. It's always going to have that stickiness in there. So that's the biggest problem. Um, well, that and it's just cheap plastic and aluminum that's super, super thin. Thing rattles. So this is what I was using for all these years. Actually, I got several of them. My camera is actually being supported by one of these right now. and It scares me to death because it's a new camera and these aren't very good tripods. This is the new tripod. This comes from Reveille, well the, the brand name is Reveille, and this holds a 16 pound camera, or up to 16 pounds cameras. Um, they have a bigger one than this, a bigger model, and the bigger model can hold up to a 27 pound camera, so it tells you how big that one is. Um, there's a lot of features about this that I'm just going to go ahead and go over real quick, and then I'm going to read off the, the specifications. Normally I have them all in my head and I can just rattle them off, but this has so many different specifications that my head was starting to hurt. And <laughs> rather than get something wrong, I want to go ahead and read it to you. So let's first let's go ahead and take a look at the tripod itself. Now the tripod is your normal three-legged tripod, otherwise it wouldn't be a tripod. On the legs, you've got two legs that have foam on them, and that's for your comfort, so you can go ahead and hold on to your tripod. Now, if it's really cold outside, like it is right now, uh, aluminum gets really cold really quickly so these foam handles really make your life a lot easier or when it's hot too. Um, the legs are easily adjustable these legs right here you can unlock the legs with one hand both legs unlock extends just lock that lock that these are not being held with cheap rivets these are all allen head screws so you can if they ever loosen up, you can tighten them up again. And these are not plastic. This is aluminum. Let me go ahead and collapse the leg again. The legs also have a rubber O-ring in them. So that's why it doesn't make that clank sound. Nice and quality work. The, the feet themselves are really soft rubber. Uh, they pop right off. That's how good the rubber is on there. And then you can just pop it right back on. Really soft rubber, and if, if you're going to be uh, worried about your camera sliding around on either carpet or on grass, you can go ahead and you can take the little leg and spin it, and up comes a point. And depending on how far you want that point to stick out, that right there, that point, will grab into the grass and or turf or whatever else, or carpet and prevent the camera or tripod from moving around. Or you can just go ahead and spin it back out to whatever depth or no depth at all. Nice and soft for any wood floor. Nice rubber. Really nicely done. The leg right here, that right there, tightens up here. And it's nice and solid. Once again, it's got a rubber O-ring on the bottom. The tripod itself is extremely solid. It does not shift around. I don't have any problems at all. It ships with the head separate. This, this head right here is a fluid head. And like its name, it's nice and fluid. It really is 
Let me loosen this up a little bit more so you can possibly see how fluid this is. I'm trying to get it to the point that it'll actually be heavy enough to, to move down. But look how fluid that is. And this is all adjustable. So it's all adjustable right here. And the nice thing about these is if you run out of adjustment for your liking, you can always go ahead and you, you take the, the plastic handle, you pull it out, and you turn it, you let go, and it gives you it locks in again and it gives you more adjustment. So you can adjust to whatever whatever liking you want and lock it right in and it'll lock in place. If you want this on the bottom, you can flip it on the bottom and it's still at the same tightness. You don't have to worry about it. Nice little design. You can for your panning right to left, you can adjust your tension with this little screw right here and that'll lock it down if you tighten it all the way up or you can loosen it right up to whatever point you want and it makes it nice and smooth panning right to left no problem at all this will pan 180 degrees right to left it pans up and down 90 degrees so it'll go 90 degrees down 90 degrees up it has a quick release locking plate and let's see and this is what the plate looks like it has your standard screw on there for your camera, any type of camera, and you can remove that screw and mount whatever kind of other screw you want on there. It just has its own plastic little part right here. Pop that up and the screw will come right off. This locks right on really easily. You can mount on any kind of camera. This is my old camera. You can take this camera and all you have to do is just go ahead and put it on like that. If you heard a click, that's the, the plate locking in but not locking tight and it'll move back and forth so you can if you have a heavy camera or, or a big rig you can actually go forward or backwards on this to get the proper tightness and then once you got your balance where you want it you can go ahead and just lock her down right here and now it's tight and you never have to worry about it moving so there you go nice smooth nice fluid oops fluid up and down it's nice and perfect fluid and nice and perfectly fluid panning right to left and you can well that like I said the head chips with it but it's disassembled and these arms here ship disassembled and once again this is not like the older older tripods these arms are only for positioning the camera and not for tightening anything down these things don't turn at all so this is not for tightening it down. You can adjust these to different angles. You just go ahead and you flip that and you can adjust it down or up or you can remove them. So really nice and simple. Uh, this head, like I said, it, it uh, has three Allen heads and you tighten them down. You screw it on first and you tighten it down and then it's perfectly tight. If you ever want to replace it, you take those two, well, you take those three screws remove them or loosen them up actually and then you spin this head off and you can spin on like a Manfrotto or something like that so you have your option of actually upgrading what else can I tell you about this I mean this is a beautiful tripod it does have a little level right here it ships with two of these plates so if you if you want to unlock it you know, remove the camera You've got a button right here you press in that button and the whole thing slides right off it ships with two of them so you can have one for one camera another for another camera and it makes it really quick to go ahead and take your camera and lock it right on or remove it uh, it also shipped with a mini tripod more of a gift than anything else and these can be used for microphones or lights or anything like that or cameras I actually use these for weather instruments and the legs are adjustable in length so you can adjust the legs out and the head is actually uh, a ball adjustment so it can, can be adjusted it's a nice little gift uh, and it also comes with this carrying case with padded shoulder now as to the specifications uh, the features are compact and light, supports up to 16 pounds, locking gear, elevator with hand crank, which is this button right here. Uh, three channel quick release legs, that's these right here, three channels, two locks. 
uh, horizontal quick release and that's that right there and foam padded grips we already talked about that and removable rubber feet with the turf spikes I already told you about that comes with the two quick release plates you know, these things and it's got the uh, pro dual pan handles so panning right to left and integrated bubble level got that so I hit all those how about the specifications specifications the model number is a AVT model tripod and with a collapsed height of 28 and 3 16 minimum operating is 26 and a quarter maximum operating is 59 and a quarter unit weight tripod weighs nine pounds I believe it's like uh, three and a half for the head and can't remember what it was for the for uh, three and a half for the web three and a half for the head and like five and a half for the tripod um, shipping weight is 12 and a half pounds tripod is made at high 100 percent high grade aluminum carrying case is nylon uh, total footprint uh, minimum radius 10 and a quarter foot to foot 17 and three quarters maximum radius 21 and a half foot to foot that'd be 38 and a quarter uh, leg height locks that's these two little locks and nothing else to say about them removable adjustable feet we already told you about that supports a 16 pound camera already told you about that quick release plate these quick release plates uh, the dimensions are three and a half by two and a quarter and the tilt is 180 and just a pan and 90 up or down and geared elevator shaft for up to uh, nine and seven nine, nine and three quarter inch in height um, that really tells it all. I mean, this, this is, you, know, you can go ahead and think, man, I really read those specifications off real quick, but uh, you can go right to the uh, eBay website or go to eBay and go right to the, the vendor's page and you can take a look at this tripod or the other ones. They got uh, the, the smaller one and the larger one than this one. Like I said, this is $79.99 free shipping. So that's basically equates to about a $50 tripod if you want to look at it that way. Highly, highly, highly recommended. This right here is a very high quality tripod. This here is junk. Uh, you know, I use them. I use them now for chronographs, but um, they're not any good for anything else, and I can see why. Once you start wanting to pan your camera, you learn very quickly that you just can't do it with those. They're just garbage. Um, and once you want more stability, this one right here is rock solid. You never have to worry about this thing moving. I do have dolly for these. So the dolly, you know, the legs snap right into dolly. So it's actually got wheels that'll roll around on the floor. And, and that's a, a beautiful setup. Highly recommend that if you want to go ahead and do panning. Uh, if you don't have a slider, a uh, linear slider, you can go ahead and put a, a linear slider on a table. You can pan your camera slide it right to left and that's a good way of getting good images and stuff like that i, I kind of do that with my dolly um, these are also really good if you want to use these for um, uh, jibs uh, which is a camera crane you can use this as, as a good jib tripod which is 100 percent better than most of them they come with um, they're just an absolutely high quality tripod and remember I was looking for Manfrotto's and stuff like that and everything was way too expensive and they didn't <laughs> frankly it didn't have the features I was looking for I found all the features I was looking for and I only paid $79.99 and that's amazing it really is this is a highly <laughs> highly recommended tripod uh, if you're if you're thinking about buying a good tripod this right here would be the one um, I really do recommend it. I, I really do. If you if you've got no problem with money and you can afford a you know, a seventeen hundred dollar tripod, go for it. You know, there's nothing like having that absolute quality. Uh, but this right here is everything that most of us here need. And this right here, uh, it, this is especially nice if you wanted to go ahead and mount a larger chronograph on it and never have it move around in the wind or anything like that. This right here is just absolutely everything you're going to need. And it's basically what I recommend. So if you have any comments or questions, as usual, leave them below. I'll be happy to answer them as 
best as I can. Um, have any comments on, on the old tripod or the new tripod? Why I chose this over the old ones, which is easy. The other ones are garbage. And they float around and everything else. And I don't want my, my good camera set up crashing to the ground. Um, I was just lucky to find it. And I do intend to uh, purchase more of them from them. These are that good that, that I don't have a problem purchasing more of them. Uh, they basically covers that time, weapon here. And I'll catch you in the next video.